Hello everyone, my name is Elina Zagnouf. I am an investment officer here at FIT and I'm very pleased to welcome you into this tutorial to better understand how our platform or new application platform works and to guide you through its entire process. You might wonder, why did we decide to change this application platform? Uh, well, after more than a year of activity and more than 1,500 applications received, we've thoroughly thought about our way uh, to better address uh, your needs, better address uh, the applicant's uh, necessities, and be able to receive as many qualitative applications as we can and make it as easy a process for you. And so we hope that this new platform does just that. So let's get started. As usual, um, you'll be uh, on the fundinnovation.dev website, and this is where it all starts. And as you can see, this website allows you to get to know us better, get to understand what our news are, what our partners are, what type of projects we've been funding. But more than anything, it gets you to submit an application. If you're an English speaker just like I am, you can transform this and turn this application into English. And to submit your project, nothing easier, just click here. Um, here, you'll be able to get to the first step um, of our new application process, and of course, you'll be able to download the golfer proposals right here. Here, you'll be getting um, some information about the different funding stages, uh, the selection process, um, everything to make you ready for your application and to be able to fill out the form online through our new application portal. You can download a series of documents, which I urge you to do, specifically the application form in a Word format and the summary budget per activity in an Excel format, that latter being mandatory for your application. So make sure you get to know and get informed about all the necessary resources and information before getting started. Then you can check if you're eligible uh, for FIT funding, if your application is actually receivable. Um, so that you are not submitting your application as an individual and that you are not submitting your application of, on behalf of a multilateral or international public institution. If that's not the case, you can move forward. By clicking I am eligible, you get to the stages of funding that are available here at FIT. You can get to know more about what we expect out of them, uh, what type of um, countries are eligible to it, and uh, what you can uh, expect from everything up to prepare to transform public, public policy grants. And then you can move forward on how to apply. Here you have uh, an explanation of the online application process, uh, how we shortlist, how we uh, gather additional information, how we get it to review committee, and how we make our decisions. So this is how your application will flow through um, FIT's process and uh, be able to get back to you with an answer. Of course, you should get to know uh, our evaluation criteria, the three main criteria that you've come to know now and um, how uh, those are articulated per stage. So this is all priority and absolutely uh, paramount information to be able uh, to provide us with a quality uh, application and make sure that it gets into the right proposal. Once we've done all that, it's time to submit your project. Welcome to the new application portal. Here, you'll be able to submit your project by creating uh, an account, by being able to read it through all the documents and the necessary resources, and you'll be able to follow up through with your application once it is received by us. So how do you start? Let's get it. So here, you can get to create an account, that thing simpler. You can get to put your first name, last name, email address, create a password, and accept the general terms and conditions. Of course, since I already have an account, we'll go straight to money. So once you're here, you can get to see um, every aspect of your profile, and let's check the profile in itself. So here you can change your personal information, name, last name, email address, of course, change your password as well, permanently delete your account if you wish to do so. And you can also check your deposits, so the applications that you've been um, writing up, and our messaging platform um, to which we can uh, take contact with you. It might not happen as we prefer emailing, but this can happen also. And now let's get to the moment where you actually apply for funding.
Once you've gotten here, it means that you're quite ready to submit a project and submit an application to the fund. But it's still important for us to bring you with some complementary information and to remind you of the key elements before applying. Here you have the funding stages again, the eligibility criteria, the evaluation criteria, the application process in itself, and then, of course, some elements before uh, submitting your applications that we think are paramount. The first one is, of course, you've seen how you can create your account. Uh, do not create two multiple accounts, just use the one that you have if you're in the same organization. Read the frequently asked questions. Turns out 99% of the time, the questions that might come to your mind might actually be in it. You can also review the complete application form in the Word format. I really do urge you to download this before starting your application so you can get um, a hint and an understanding of what's expected of it. And then you can fill out the online form and submit your application. Should you have any difficulties or questions, you can contact us on our contact email. And if not, let's get started. Here, as you can see, I have already started an application that we can edit. But if you are starting a new application, you'll be clicking on apply. Now let's look at this already currently running application. So the application has four different stages. Uh, the first stage is on eligibility. The second will ask you information about your, your organization and your partners. The third part of this application is the actual application forms or questions and your answers uh, to provide us uh, about your project and to make sure we understand fully well uh, what you're intending to do. And the last uh, part is a validation part for you to be able to submit your application. So let's get from the start. Here on the questions of eligibility, we're reminding you again who are our eligible countries and geographies, what are the eligible entities for this fund, and uh, ask you three main questions that you've already kind of um, been accustomed to on our website. Um, here you can also, and that is uh, a novelty of this platform, you can invite a team member to join you and work collaboratively on the same application so you can do it better and faster. Of course, here you can check uh, the level of completeness of your application. Um, because I have already filled this in for the sake of this tutorial, it is 100%, but you'll see it kind of guides you through the entire application form. Once you've replied true to all these four elements, you can click on Next. And here you can fill in uh, information about your organization. So here, what its name, the type of organization, the website, the country, um, some contact information that's quite important. Um, so the primary and secondary contacts um, within your organization. Uh, we'll also be asking you about the involved partners uh, who might be recipients of a subgrant from the fund um, being requested from FID. So here you can indicate some key elements about it. Um, of course, this application is completely fake and has been created for the sake of this. Some research partners um, also that you might have. This is also extremely important specifically for stage two and above um, applications and professional references. Not to um, uh, mistake for citations. Here we're asking you to provide us with uh, contacts um, from people that might vouch for your application and for your organization. Um, some new questions have been added to this application form, as you might see it. Uh, specifically, if you have previously submitted an application to this project, for this project, um, please click yes and tell us if you could briefly describe what has changed in this new proposal. This is paramount for us to be able to evaluate it in light of the evolution and the changes that you might have uh, made to your application. Once you've done all that, we can click on next. And here, before starting to write up your application form in itself, you need to make sure that you know and select the funding stage that you're applying for. The reason for this is because um, the application in itself and the questions you're being asked are uh, stage sensitive and will depend on the type of stage that you select. You can also, once again, uh, download the, 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 the application form in a Word format. As you can see, we really do urge you to do that beforehand. 
And then once you're done, you can start answering the questions. Here, I have chosen to apply for a stage one, so pilot, and I will be getting questions um, that are uh, sensitive to that uh, stage. You can put in, of course, the key elements, uh, so application title, the amount, um, the location of the proposed uh, work, um, the sectors, everything that brings about uh, key elements and that makes us understand how your application will be running, your development challenge. You'll see the questions are quite straightforward and we urge you to read the subtext as it provides you with um, very critical information to be able to fill in your application correctly. Um, some uh, changes have also been made thanks to this new application portal. You will be able to uh, download a JPEG or a PNG format of a theory of change if you wish to do so. This is not mandatory. And you will be able to download the set budget we had spoken of just a few minutes before and uh, download it um, in XLS format here. Once you're done responding to all of these, uh, these questions, you can click you can answer these three last elements, um, and then you can click on next. So here we come to the final stage of this application portal, which is submitting your application. Um, you can, of course, download your answers in PDF and uh, be able to reach them and, and keep a trace of them at any time. But once you're ready, set, let's go. Congratulations, you've just submitted an application for FIT funding. You'll be seeing this uh, response. You'll also be getting an email from us um, that thanks you for uh, your committed interest and gives you a three month period before we, can, um, we are able to answer you. So now it's waiting for validation. So what happens once you've uh, actually submitted your application? You can take a look at it in the list of your deposits, and here you have your deposit reference and you have your deposit status. Uh, this will change depending on where your evaluation and the evaluation from FIT will be at. Of course, once you're seeing this, um, uh, please do not um, apply uh, multiple times for the same project if that has not been evaluated yet. It will just confuse our teams and it will uh, lengthen the process for us to be able to answer you. And so that is it. That is how you apply for uh, FIT funding through our new application portal. I hope this tutorial was useful, but before letting you go, here's a few tips to make sure that your application uh, does its best possible uh, through our evaluation process. The first of them, is read carefully and reread carefully your application. Make sure that it is neat, that it is well written, that it is appropriate, stage appropriate, and make sure that you've read all the resources we have provided you with as they are absolutely paramount and are there to help you get the best chance at getting funding from FIT. The second advice that I can provide you with is uh, to make sure that you check the uh, frequently asked questions um, website that it is present on our main website, fundinnovation.dev, um, uh, for the main reason that uh, we have received countless numbers of questions from candidates, and we have made sure to compile them into the most comprehensive FAQ possible. So if you have a question, it's probably answered there. And the last thing is to make sure that um, you've downloaded all the documents, specifically the, the Excel sheet, and that you have it all filled up and ready to go. Now we think you're ready. Thank you so much for your attention and we're looking forward to seeing your applications. Thank you.